Y'all know I'll be a donkey when I get my goals in. When, when I put them goals in, I'm a... I don't know, y'all. I'm starting to... I'm starting to like my goals. I'm finna start wearing these bitches again. The only reason I had to start wearing them is because I talk like this when I wear them. You feel y'all hear that? This shit. I'm like, huh? What it do, y'all? This is Kay, and if you didn't know, then you are considered a... I know y'all probably like, what is good being with the content? Trust me, I'm on the way. All I've been doing is trying to, you know what I'm saying, handle these bookings. I've been getting booked for a lot of parties, and if you want me to come to your city, and you know your party promoter in your city, tell that nigga to book me. Yeah, tell the party promoter in your city to come book me, and I'm gonna turn that bitch up. I just wanna come turn up with my fans, you feel me? Mm. Yeah, like, I'm sick of these goals already. But nah, for real, I just wanna come turn up somewhere with my fans. I miss y'all. I miss thugging with y'all. I remember I used to do uh, a lot of bookings, like, in Atlanta, I used to do one, like, every weekend. I really miss having fun with my supporters, you feel me? So, make sure you tell your party promoter in your city to book Roll Up K because you want to see me, you know what I'm saying? Hey, look, I'm telling y'all, I'm finna have me a lot of, it's finna be a lot going on, you feel me now? I'm finna take y'all along with me for 24 hours in Ohio, Cleveland, Ohio. I'm finna take y'all with me for 24 hours in Cleveland, Ohio. I'm gonna try to get a full review done for y'all and everything, but yeah. We finna be in Cleveland, Ohio for 24 hours for this booking. Now this probably gonna be a real laid back party because it's on a Thursday night. A lot of people don't get out on Thursday night. Um, Tomorrow, not tomorrow, tomorrow is when my flight is. Uh, The next day, I got to be in, where I gotta be at? Detroit. I gotta go to Detroit for the first time. I'm being Michigan with this shit on and this shit in me. Y'all know what the fuck going on, man. This shit gonna be real. Like, I, yeah, I'm gonna be in Detroit, Michigan and the first place I want to go review is Coney. I've been, like, I remember um living in Birmingham, Alabama. We had this Coney's right across the street from the, uh, it was like a Coney's kind of restaurant right across the street from this, uh, from the cemetery, the o Oakland Cemetery. Y'all remember it was that, that little place right there? And they used to sell, like, the good little hot dogs, the this, that, and the third. I want to go to the originator, the, the originator of this shit, you feel me? They said Detroit. Detroit is the originator. So, shit, I'm going to go fuck with Detroit. See what y'all got going on. Y'all better show me some love when I come. And I feel like y'all live. I know Detroit gonna jump harder than a lot because they've been anticipating on me to come. They've been waiting on me to come. And this club real small, so I know this friend trying to pack this bitch out just to see me. And I'm finna make it a meet and greet and everything. Y'all get to come in on, you know what I'm saying? Take pictures with me. Do whatever y'all need to do. So basically, this will be like a showcase for all the supporters and all the promoters and all the party throwers. Book me. I'ma come through this shit. Not free. What are you talking about? You gonna have to pay a little fee and book my flight. The fee be small as hell though. I'm trying to tell you, you gonna make your money back off the door. And and, and, and and anything else. Now, another thing, like I said, make sure y'all like, subscribe, and comment on this video before we get into it. Y'all know before we do a trip, we gotta pamper ourselves. My nails ain't done. My hair ain't cut. Uh, my face ashy. I'm not, I ain't got no wax or nothing. I ain't got that much hair, but I got enough for me to feel like if the heat touch it the wrong way, I'm gonna get musty. Yeah, I don't wanna get musty. Word of the day, wash your ass. Usually I, I say the word of the day gonna be something real strong, but lately, people have been funky in the winter and the spring, and I don't know what the fuck you mean why your body smell like mean green. It's time for us to wash our asses. A lot of y'all don't like to wash y'all ass, and I understand. I don't like to wash my neither. Wait, no, not, that's not what I, 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 I didn't mean that. I, 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 I wash my and I smile when I do it. It be fun in there, especially sometimes when the suds drip down the crack of my ass and I, this shit going too far. Anyways, yeah, I ain't give y'all no house tour yet because it's been a lot going on, but I got, a, I got everything basically set up for y'all, you feel me? I got everything set up. Uh, y'all pup, you got his own little sunroom. I got a lot of it set up. I just gotta, I don't know what it is, y'all. I've been bullshitting. I've been having these bookings to, to handle. I've been back home visiting my family. My girl had to go home visit her family. I finally met Ty Grandma, you feel me? Her grandma cool as fuck. Pretty ass smile. She look just like Ty. She look just like Ty Mama. So everybody look like Ty Grandma. I've been trying to bond with my girl, you feel me? We've been coming up with plans and shit with each other for the long run in life, you feel me? And um, yeah, I just been trying to get my shit together to be more careful out here in these streets before I have to goddamn do me something to a nigga. So it's 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 like a lot of things that I've been trying to get together and get 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 better at. You know what I'm saying? I've been trying to get better at my content. My camera flip, y'all probably don't even know that, but I ain't been trying to record because my camera messed up. I gotta get a new camera. Look, a lot of things be happening to me, you feel me? And I know y'all probably feel like, man, the girl got a perfect life. She rich, she do this, she got she got a new career. If y'all go back and look at my um my little board that I made, that little, that little board, what they call, whatever they call, vision boards. I told y'all I'm gonna get a new house, I'm gonna get a new car, I'm gonna get a new whatever. And I meant that. I 
I just gotta do better, man. Like it ain't, it ain't. I ain't never too. Like I don't wanna never be too content. I, I gotta keep this shit going. I gotta keep winning. I gotta keep growing. I gotta keep this shit going. You feel me? Y'all look at this creators and feel like we ain't got normal lives. You feel me? We got normal ass lives. Like I need y'all to know that. Nah, today gonna be the day. That I just simply pamper myself, you know what I'm saying? I might cook tonight. Who who knows? Like, no telling what I'm gonna do when I get home. I'm just pampering myself. Gotta go get my nails done. I look like a young 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 man right now. I'm handsome though. You feel me? I ain't really tripping on. Look handsome with it. But yeah, I'm finna go um get myself together. I gotta go get the wax first. I just hopped out the shower because I can't put the booty in nobody's face, and I ain't take no shower. Do y'all be doing that? Do y'all take uh showers before y'all go get the wax, or do y'all put that goddamn sour ass booty in them folk face? I think y'all be putting that sour ass in them Brazilian faces. That's why, that's why they be a little, you know what I'm saying? That's why they don't fuck with it, they do something. I told everybody on Facebook, tag me in the post, and um, I try to respond to them. I won't do that again. These motherfuckers is mad at me, telling some bitch, you see me tagging you in the post, do you want this or not? No, I don't want to actually, don't, don't make me, force me to just grab some shit that I ain't even asked you for. No, bitch, you can't walk up to me in the club with no spaghetti plate in your motherfucking hands, bitch. I'm not eating no spaghetti in the goddamn club, and they probably bitches twerking. You want me to eat some... Twerk scatty bitch. I don't want no boo scatty bitch. It's gonna be ass all across my goddamn spaghetti. Spabooty bitch. I don't want no mother spabooty. So, um, yeah, that's the first thing. First, I'm finna go get my own wax. Then, after I get my wax, I'm finna run over there, get my nails done, you know what I'm saying? And, um, I still ain't found nobody on my side of town that know how to do nails because they can't. They, they really ass it. They all. I was waiting on Ty. But she told me to just leave her because she want to put on some lashes. She want to put on some ass. She want to put on everything that she got to put. Oh, you ain't even got on a shirt. I'm gonna put you, baby. It's time to go, okay? Mm, baby. But it's 10 minutes away. You look so good. I look all right. I ain't just doing that type shit. You know, this is some little bullshit I put out the class. <laughs> For real, though, you my favorite part, man. I have to stay throwing these on. You look so good. You look good. I'm so cute. Anyways, y'all, um, I guess I'm finna, I'm finna leave Ty. Ty can... Oh, how about you go ahead and go? Right. And you Uber up? No, just drive to me and baby. Baby, you, you making my time harder. You Uber to me. No. I'll see if I feel like doing it. If I feel like doing it, I will come back and get you. If baby, I don't, to me. I will see if I feel like doing it. Cause, cause I'm getting your nails done. So, <laughs> anyways, y'all, we finna, uh, I'm finna go get it wet. I'll be back, Ty. Love you, boy. Keep God in your life, okay, Flynn? Can I try your Tesla? Yeah. Ah, I'll come back and get you. <laughs> She's so nice about that car. For y'all, I really can't wait to show y'all the rest of this house because especially this area right here, I know y'all will probably see this and be a little scared of it, but um, trust me, there is magic behind that door, not ghosts, okay? I like this goddamn house. Yeah, first thing first, finna go get my nails done. Y'all see them? Yep, I just left from getting wet. She waxed it good, yo, she waxed it from the back, yup, 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 yup. I just left from getting waxed. She waxed this pussy good, yo, she waxed it from the back, yup, yup. Left from getting waxed. She waxed this pussy good, yo, she waxed it from the back. I told her, get the what? Get the whole ass crack. And guess what she did? Bitch, she motherfucking snap. Bitch, she snap like some fingers. Yeah, bitch, she know she gon' snap. Yeah, she told me put my legs up in my lap. Yep, and it's like cap. Yep, when she was done, I gave her that. Yeah, like, uh, she whack your pussy good, yeah, yeah. She gon' whack your pussy good, yeah. Bitch, I ran up a million. When I get a wax, bitch, you know it's gon' be. Oh, hold on, hold on, bitch. I'm up a million. When I get a wax, bitch, you know it be Brazilian. Hey, bitch, I'm up a million. And when I get a wax, bitch, you know it be Brazilian. Brazilian, uh, bitch, get up on your knees. Brazilian wax, make a bitch speak Portuguese. <laughs> Language they be speaking or whatever, but yo, I feel like a brand new. I just switched to the car, can't nobody fuck with me. Thick and fault with a wax. Whoa, I was going too far. What the fuck is going on with me today? <sighs> Let me go get my nails done because I did the transition wrong. I was supposed to bring y'all from right there and then show y'all the, the wax, but too late, y'all. Can't show y'all now. Let me go ahead on and go get my, my nails done. Yeah, I got my nails done. And for the ones that, if y'all watching my vlog and y'all see my face a little dark around the mouth area, that is my eczema. And that shit been acting up and it never shook back. So, it is what it is. I just been, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to try to put a little makeup on it to smear it in when I get home just to see if that, if that work. I've been, I seen this lady put a little orange uh, some on her face. And when I get home from all these bookings, I'm going to get me a chemical pill and hopefully that works. Yeah. My diamonds hit like this. Yeah.
my bitch she rude, yeah. I don't know what to do, yeah. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Yeah. 
cap, ho. Yo, I done ran around, I'm overlapping, ho. Yo, bitch. Yo, overlapping, bitch. Yo, bitch. Run around. Nigga, play them, we gon' come down. Bum, 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 bum. Nigga, that's that good sound. Nigga, give me my crown. Cause I'm a crip. Make me put in Glock about my hip. Bitch, when I dip, you dip, we dip, we dip. <laughs> bitch, I put in bitch up at your lip, nigga. Bebo, 
Bebo, the fuck, nigga? Yeah, don't kill us with your truck, nigga. Yeah, he think he can't get his ass touched, nigga? Yeah, because he can't. Bitch, I'll march on a nigga like a band. Bitch, I'm way too quick, just like the sand. Nigga, you think I'm playing? I got a plan, nigga. These niggas ain't working. I give a nigga honey a honey bun. You know he murking. Yeah, you know he murking shit. Everybody fuck with me. I wonder if it cause I'm rich. Probably. Probably. Cause they wouldn't fuck with me when I was broke. Why y'all ain't fuck with me when I was broke? These people were laughing at me. Yeah, they thought it was a joke. But now I come around who they treat me like, babe. You can't touch my necklace. All these niggas trying to fit in. This ain't no Tetris. Nigga, do I look like a gang? The f yeah, yeah, and I pop a nigga. Yeah, yeah, bitch, I pop a nigga. Then I pop a willy. Man, these niggas silly. Bitch, come get in with me now. Bitch, fuck out. This ain't that. This ain't that. been eczema in my ass so time for to try to clear it up a little bit you feel me and yeah i believe in her she not finna um yeah don't tell them exactly what she told me to do put the concealer around my mouth yep what's wrong with that baby i want to do it you want to do my whole fucking makeup on my face ain't nobody gonna be walking around here looking like stud cerella <laughs> studarella bitch this bitch want a nigga look like studarella anyway <laughs> 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 Fuck it <laughs> I don't think this is the right color in this mother. But but that's how I came on on the gas. And she started blending me in. Okay, so let's see. I can fix it if you let me. You just want to let me do my thing. Alright, I'm going to see how this works first. Then we're going to let you do that. Okay. And you're only doing it around my mouth. You're not doing okay, my foot. Now I'm gonna catch him at the bottom of the joke. Wait, 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 wait. Where's 
Hold on. Might well sneak me on the dress. Cause I know that's what they gonna do. I'm gonna sneak me on the dress. Yeah, I can't. Gotta get the fuck up out of here. The fuck did she do? <laughs> you got me looking like like Bernie Mac now. I just did what you asked me to do. I look like Bernie Mac now. Like how he would be a look like that. That's not nice, Keisha. I, I look like. Keisha, turn around. I look like motherfucker. <laughs> damn it. These <laughs> <laughs> monkeys. Oh, god damn it. Okay, wait, wait, wait. For real, seriously. Seriously, baby. Give me a uh, What that is, baby? What's up? Spritz? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is Spritz. Y'all like this? This is a little better. Whoa. What about my goddamn cheese? Why do you gotta let it dry? Have real blue boy, baby. Oh, shit. You fucking lie. What? You know, Seriously. No, for real, I look dead. Like, I'm just bullshitting. Do I look, I look, I look, it, it ain't right. We gotta figure something out. Yeah, that ain't right, baby. Damn, baby, what we gotta do? You see how it don't look that bad when I'm looking at it in person? But somebody been took a picture and they flashed when the slap caught the goddamn mustard. Oh. Uh, we gotta do something about this. Look, why my lips so goddamn black? What? Your lips black? Yeah. You got makeup on it? No, it's my real lips. You knew that. We've been going like <laughs> No, it look like, no, it look like makeup on your lips, eh? Yeah, I'm got makeup on your lips. Why is you leaking it? It just look like you got <laughs> makeup on. Well, we got to figure out how to not. Uh, okay, you want to wipe it off and try it again? Yeah, let's wipe it off and try it again. Okay, let's wipe it off and try it again. I'm going right, to pause this. I had restarted and then I just let Ty handle it. I let her do whatever she wanted to do. And I say, hold well, well, on, let me put on these lights around here. Damn, Damn bitch, what good light at? Damn, upside down that house ain't got not one good light up on your motherfucker. I say it ain't too, it ain't too bad. This ain't too shabby. I don't know. It is what it is, though, y'all. This is what the fuck I'm going to have to do. Uh, Because my eczema is tan my up. And when I get home, I'm gonna give me a chemical pill and I won't have to go through this shit no more, so. Cause it really ain't no eczema, it's just like a spot that I look around and use something that wasn't good for my skin. I used something that wasn't good for my skin and it ended up starting off as a little spot then it spread it out. So now we gotta, I'm just trying to focus on getting it together and fixing my face at all. Uh, if any of y'all got any ideas on how to fix that up real fast, then let me know, you know, uh, I went to the dermatologist and they had to gave me some pills and some, 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 but the dermatologist was not, uh, didn't have a lick of melanin in them, in them, melanin or melatonin in them. I don't know if that's gonna work, if, if him being my doctor was the brightest idea for either of us. So, let me get this together, y'all. Let's get this together. Y'all, I am back, and I got my hair cut this morning, because y'all know we finna be in Ohio for really not even a whole 24 hours. I know I said this is gonna be a 24 hour vlog in Ohio, but I ain't even finna be that long. I'm finna go to Ohio, and I get there at four o'clock. I didn't know my flight was that late. I get there at four. I tried to change it, but they won't let me. Get there late as hell at four o'clock, and um, what am I do? I got stuff to do already. Like, go there, take a nap, because I'm gonna be tired. I've been up all day and all night, trying to get myself together, you know what I'm saying? I'm finna go to uh, Ohio, do this little party tonight, and I'm gonna take y'all with me. That's all we gonna do. And after that, we gotta go to a party in Detroit tomorrow that I'm, um, that I'm, appearing yet, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, I've been trying to, um, when I say I've been in my bed, that bitch said, I'm, I've been deep off in my bed like a grandma with a peppermint. Oh, you might have snapped. You did that one little thing. Whoever that little gal here, oh my mama, oh, uh, she look, I want to get my homeboys get paid for this song. Oh my mama, oh my hood, I look fly. I, I look so goddamn good. If you check my swag, I know you wish that you could, but I look too good. Bitch can't even catch me. Yeah, I'm getting my shit together, y'all. We about to uh, get ready to hop on this flight to Ohio. And um, the sad part about it, y'all, Ty not flying with me today. She will be in Ohio later on today. Ty's not flying with me because Ty's, Ty's very irresponsible. And we gonna talk about that later, but I ain't mad at Ty. In fact, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go propose to Ty. And I know a lot of y'all be like, why are you switching your voice when you get around Ty sometimes? Cool, I am her man. She gonna watch her. You know, you do so much for me, you tight shit. Like, I really love you, you feel me? I ain't never had nobody like you. Your family with me, I fuck with your family, and I with you, you feel me? Like, you a real sweet girl. You do everything I ask of you yourself. 
when I told you to book your flight so we won't be going through what we're going through right now. Now you gotta be after me and you know, should I actually do this right now? This is just pissing me off. But anyways, um, you pretty for you feel me? Uh, yeah, like you soft and cool. Like never thought that you would be that cool. Like, cause when I first was fucking with you, like back then, like you was really like a little bougie bitch. I was like, nah, no, I thought she would, but then you smoked me at the church. So I was like, oh, she smoking at the church. She ain't too bougie, like. So yeah, like I could not spend the rest of my motherfucking life with nobody but you type shit. You feel me? I said, will oh my you God. marry me? And I said, will you marry me? Give me your thing. Give me your hand, baby. Give me your hand, baby. Okay. Get that right hand? Okay. We gonna go get a scissors, okay? okay. With that motherfucker on. Oh my fucking God, Keisha. You gotta lick it, the uh, solidifier. Do it, lick it. <laughs> we are <laughs> You are now our new employee. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I ain't done. I ain't done. I grabbed that thing. Trying to tell y'all, showing love to your girl. Showing love to your girl is really good. It could be free. You just got to find the right flowers. You just got to find the right flowers out here. See? Oh, I like my house. I got some flowers out this morning. Yeah, you ain't did your big one. I snap. You, you did this. I just did that shit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Call your mama, tell her. Your mom ever been in jail? <laughs> huh? How many times? Ten. I'm straight. You go. <laughs> who more of a thug? Your mom or your daddy? That's who I'm gonna call. The other one. Call your daddy. You ain't gonna be able to reach me. <laughs> We're gonna call your daddy. But anyways, y'all. I'm finna go ahead on and get the rest of my stuff together. You ready to hop on this flight? Cause we gotta go. Mama gonna miss you. Mama gonna miss you, mama gonna miss you with your mother. Mama gonna miss you, mama gonna miss you with your mother. Mama gonna miss you with your Nobody love you like your mama while you acting like this. You just want somebody to rub your ass. Go on, lift the leg up, Simba. Go on, lift the little fucking leg up. That shit good! I'll be back, okay? Mama love you so much. And when it come down to you, I will boot a dog. I will grab this foot right here, take it all the way back, just like that, and come straight across that motherfucker and boot that dog. All about you. Yes, y'all. I'm in, uh... Well, I'm in Ohio. I'm in Ohio and Ty's not with me. I'm by myself and we'll get into why, she, why I'm by myself probably tomorrow. I just wanted to let y'all know I made it. And I'm finna go ahead and get ready for this event that I got going on, you feel me? This is like one of the first events since a long time since I've been this big that I had to do an event by myself. Like go by myself, no crowd, no friends, no nobody. I usually go with one person, at least somebody, but we'll get into that tomorrow, y'all, because I'm still kind of mad, so just bear with me. Alright, y'all, so that shit is on. Little mirror, mirror head, the toe tight shit, with the lamp on. Y'all know what the fuck going on. I got this hat from somebody in the airport. I'm gonna show y'all who I got it from. Let's go get this knot out the way, and y'all know what I'm like. Head away, dirty. Now these niggas be flies, man. Me. I pray for the nigga that slide for you, you pay the nigga he died for cheap, uh, he soft as pie can be, free bitch a trip and she lied to me, like yeah, got niggas that slide for free, but I'm still about action like I What it do y'all, it's Kay and I'm back with another review. Now, if you ever had a drunk night after the club and somebody gave you some food, you went to one of your favorite restaurants that stay open 24 hours, you gonna know exactly how I feel when I'm eating this food. Now, to be 100% real with you, when people bring me food at the club, I feel like that's crazy fuck. I don't understand why y'all do that. Like, I'm not finna open up that motherfucking plate in the middle of the club and eat a goddamn thing. But one of my supporters ended up sneaking their ass on stage and bringing me some food, so I couldn't deny it. I just said, you know what, go ahead on and get it to me. I, I see what the fuck is here on. He tried to tell me to go ahead on and open the plate and try it in his face. I Hell no, nah, the fuck all this ass around. I'm about this about 50 bitches twerking and you want me to open up the damn plate and eat it right here in front of all this ass and all this contamination? This dead bitch gonna be some fucking ass Fredo. It ain't gonna even be ass Fredo no more. But a lot of the people from the crowd was like, no, trust us, K, his food real good. You gotta try it. So I was like, okay, give me the plate. I'm gonna take it to my room and I'm gonna try to eat it. If I, you know, I really wasn't gonna eat it, y'all. But I went back to my room so goddamn tore up. I had to eat something or I was gonna start eating people. He told me it was some chicken Alfredo. No, and a lot of y'all probably like, why do we everybody always make you chicken Alfredo? Why is everything this? The first thing folks want to um, show you Y'all act like Alfredo easy to make. It ain't. Because I'm telling you now, I will judge you by your plate of Alfredo. And at first, I was a little skeptical about this Alfredo. I said, hold on, now the chicken fried. See, now that's why he wanted me to go ahead on and try so the chicken wouldn't get soggy over time. But I went to my room, right? Before I went up, I warmed it up in the microwave, y'all. And I took it back to the room. 
and listen to me. Now, at first, I was just trying to dig in and figure out the velocity of the flavors, but I swear to God, y'all, that shit was so, bitch, I don't know if it was because I was drunk or what, but usually when I'm drunk, I tell so much of the truth, nothing but the truth, the whole goddamn truth, that the truth is in me. Bitch, that shit was good as hell. I'm talking about I tied my hair up to the back like I was finna get a full head. Now, listen, I said get a full head. Yeah, y'all, sometimes I do say shit that's a little questionable, but don't put no motherfucking, don't, don't ask nothing through the bitch. And y'all, please don't ask me where the rest of the Akron and Cleveland, Ohio are uh, reviews at. I only came there for a party. Now, I didn't come there to eat no goddamn food. I'll be back to eat some food. Matter of fact, y'all, comment below and tell me what y'all want me to eat when I do come back. Y'all, I was so tore up. That food tastes so goddamn good. I said, Lord, did they put some Jesus in it? It tastes like Jesus just slapped his foot right across this goddamn food. That shit tastes like a blessing. And, and I just can't lie and say it was good because I was drunk because everybody be saying it like I, the whole Whoever the fuck brought his ass on the stage said that she was good. And I told that shit, man, y'all, listen to me when I tell you something. See, what I say, I, I joke. I don't lie. And a lot of things, oh, let me run it back. Stop thinking that you're going to give me that fucking food and not pay me. You lucky this food made me bow my head and pray because I was supposed to make you pay. Man, I thank you for giving me the confidence, the, the confidence to do this all by myself. And I thank you for giving me the confidence to do this with people. I thank you for everything that you've been giving me. Thank you for this lifestyle because you could have gave it to anybody else, but you decided to give it to me. And I thank you so much for it, God. I'm very appreciative. I'm very appreciative, and I'm very grateful for my lifestyle. And I pray that you continue to make me be grateful. I pray that you put me in a position to be more consistent. I pray that you put me in a position to be more responsible when it comes down to my funds, when it comes down to my life, when it comes down to everything, God. I pray that you put me in a position to be more responsible with it. Pray that you put me in position to be more. To be. Y'all, I was so goddamn tipsy. I started praying for shit that ain't even had nothing to do with the goddamn prayer at first. I started, yeah, God, I pray for them new J's that come out Saturday. God, I pray for my nail tech. I pray on nothing ever happened to that bitch. God, I love her so much. I love you so much, V, that I don't know what to do with myself. See, this, this ain't got nothing to do with the food. But I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Have you ever been so drunk that you was grateful? Bitch, I, you know what? Without the drunk, I'd be grateful. I'm so happy for my goddamn life because I could have been an octopus. I could have been an ostrich. But God made me a fire ass, human, sexy ass being. And for that, Lord, I thank you and I won't complain. What he said, I said, thank you, Lord. I won't complain. I'm going to only complain if y'all don't go follow me on Facebook, Instagram, uh, TikTok, and Twitter, and go subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's the only reason I'm going to complain. If I complain about anything, it's going to be because y'all don't already follow me on all platforms. And I like when y'all see me in public and y'all be like, I follow you everywhere. You should, motherfucker. And to be honest, y'all should go follow the guy that gave me the food, too, because y'all see his Instagram at the top. There's both of them. Make sure y'all go support that man if you live in Akron or Cleveland because he's close to that damn area. So, y'all, it is a brand new day in where we at. I'm still in Ohio. I just got up, put on me some clothes, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my supporter that I seen in the mall. Not the mall, but the airport. They gave me this um this hoodie. Uh, right now, I'm waiting on Ty to come pull up, pick me up. She probably like three minutes away, honestly, so I need to get up and head down to the lobby. Let me check her location. Uh, yeah. Probably finna head to Ty. Why Ty is just now getting with me is because, uh, she basically had missed her flight last night. Um, well, not last night. She missed her flight yesterday afternoon. Which I be on Ty ass about certain shit. Like, bro, get up, make your flight, get up, do this, get up, do that. And she really lally gagged. And I feel like she feel real bad by missing her flight because I had to do the party by myself or whatever. But I had a real good time by myself. I can't even lie. Like, now I know that I can do certain shit by myself and I don't really, you know, I'm just, you know. But, um, yeah, she ended up missing her flight. Then she ended up finding some flight with whoever that she found a flight through. It was like a connecting flight. She ended up flying out last night to Tampa, then from Tampa, she flew here. Well, no, to Tampa, she from from Tampa, she flew to Detroit and got a rental, now she's driving to me. Like, I know that she feel bad, that's why she's doing all this shit to, you know what I'm saying, make this shit right and get to me, you know what I'm saying? But um, in the midst of all this, it's like a lot has been just hitting the girl because she did all that just for her to get to Detroit and her bags not be in Detroit and now she basically don't know what to do, you know what I'm saying? But me being me, I'm finna take her to the mall, grab her some clothes, you know, so she won't feel too down or too terrible about nothing. I'm gonna take her to the mall, grab her something to wear tonight and some shit to lounge around in, you know, for the days that we are gonna be here. But um, this shit just crazy, man. I feel like, damn, like, I don't know. Like, I don't wanna say maybe she shouldn't have came because she doing all this shit to come. I ain't gonna say that, but I'm gonna say maybe, I don't know, life done gave her ass some lemons and she ain't got no sugar to make no lemonade. That's how, that's how. <laughs> 
But I'm finna, you know what I'm saying, fix everything. I'm finna fix it. Y'all know I'm, I'm mistress, it's fix it. When it come down to anything in my life, I feel like I gotta fix everything. Not that I feel like I have to, I feel like if I don't then, <clears throat> If I don't fix it, then basically who will? So, it's no sense in being down about everything. I'm down here making back ends. I'm down here making a lot of money. So just, you know, I don't know. I just, I, I got three parties back to back. When I say last night, tonight, and tomorrow night. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Friday swung so hard, you know what I'm saying? Uh, So, I think tonight gonna swing too. Pull up, get that back in. Then, I got another party the next night. Pull up, get that. Then, I got another party April 13th. And I might have one on the 12th, but so far I think I got one on the 13th in Dallas. Pull up, get that back in. So I never, financially, I never put myself down. Like, man, you don't need to be, like, man, you don't need, you know what I'm saying? Because I know I'm out here earning a lot. The only uh, headache it is when it comes down to the situation is, like, it's just mentally. It's like mentally I'd be like, damn, like, not when it comes down to my girl. Like, she good. She don't really cause too many, but yes, she do. Ties a headache, but, um. She's not my only headache, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I gotta fix everything. And I know a lot of y'all probably gonna tell me, um, you straight up, you can't fix everything, you can't do everything to everybody around, you gotta understand. That's straight up too. Like I've been saying it to myself that, hey, I can't fix everything and everybody around me gotta understand that. And I think that's a slow pro progress and process for everybody to get into. For me to just out the blue say, man, nah, you know what I'm saying? But that's really what I gotta do, start just out the blue saying no to everything. But um, I'm waiting on her to pull up right, right now. I don't think she's too far. Let me see how far she is. Four minutes away. She's four minutes away from me. I'm about to have a good day today though, y'all. I plan on going straight. I'm finna go straight to Detroit right now. She's finna pick me up, take me straight to Detroit. We still gonna go back and forth to the airport to see if they made a mistake or if her bags end up in Detroit at any time. They said they got the, the last flight that comes to Detroit from Tampa is at eight o'clock and so her bag should be here at nine. We just gonna pray to God because I'ma go buy her whatever she need, you know what I'm saying, for while she's here. But at nine o'clock, we going to that airport and we gonna see if her, her bag that that airport. Cause if it is, if her bag that that airport, we taking all that shit back. This month alone, I've spent 10,000 on Ty just spoiling her because she helped me make 100,000. So I, I feel like that's why I've been spoiling the girl. She definitely put about six figures in my pocket this month, just alone off everything she been doing. When it come down to motivation, bookings, everything. So we're gonna try to go replace the stuff that's missing. If it's, if it's In the long run, if we don't get a bag back, at least she got more things. Ty, don't stress yourself. I really appreciate you for trying and being yourself up about all this shit. She didn't make me pay for none of her flights, y'all. She just figured it all out and told me she gonna try her best to be there and she really been like apologizing about the shit and i don't want her to feel so down i don't like beating people up when they already down about some shit so the goal is to you know what i'm saying just keep pushing keep pushing keep pushing keep pushing um she's finna pull up in probably like two minutes now so finna go downstairs to the lobby we're gonna see ty and we probably finna go straight to detroit i want to go straight to coney's because that is one of the most you know what i'm saying now got all my stuff packed up though um I'm finna head downstairs, go meet up with Ty. Hey y'all, so, I'm finally with Ty. So what to do, Ty? Hey. You don't wanna be on the vlog, do you? You ain't fucking with it right now? We ain't, we ain't true, we ain't true. How you doing, baby? Stop. You had a bad day? Yeah. A bad night Now put it back on me now, let me look cute. Okay.
What it do, y'all? It's Kay, and I'm back with another review. Ooh, ooh, I miss y'all. Now, if you didn't know, I've been in Detroit for like four or five days racking up on reviews, man. I miss doing reviews. I don't know what it was. I had to go through a little moment, you know what I'm saying? Us creators, we are still real people, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I still go through shit where I just have to take moments out to myself and take breaks. Now, anyways, like I was saying, y'all know I've been in Detroit with that shit on me, bitch. I'm the worst creator to try to rob because I will pop your ass like a tea. Now, for the most part, everybody did show love. But I did have a few dusty ass, bomb ass people that was in the cut time of some I robbed that little bitch. And after you rob me, baby, go rob a casket because you're going to need one. I don't know why y'all been trying to do me wrong and bully me lately like I bully back, bitch. I had a bitch share my post trying to be funny. I think she confused. She just keep getting her nails done. I don't know. Your church confused about who the fuck they daddy is. One on whiter than snow. One on blacker than 2 a.m. If you don't get them dice looking ass children on and roll up out my face worried about what the fuck I do. Shit. Damn. Maybe I do go too hard. Now, y'all, I had just pulled up in Detroit, and this is the first stop I made. I feel like it was the most important one because everybody been beating my ass about which location, but most of the people said go to L. George's, bitch, so that's where the fuck I went. Everybody keep trying to argue with me about which location to go to. Nah, you should have went on 8 Mile. I don't even know Eminem to be over there on his block. Nah, for real, I just went to the well the majority told me to go, bitch. I'm listening to the majority, and four, five motherfuckers in the coming. And then I had a lot of people keep saying, we don't eat at no motherfucking bonus. Yes, the fuck y'all doing Prove it to you, bitch. I walk inside that restaurant and it ain't even no bad looking ass restaurant. I say, okay, bitch, it's people in there. That is a little line over there. They waiting on that damn food, cause why? They ordered it. And guess what they finna do when they get it? They finna eat the shit. Bitch, y'all do eat that shit. I wanna shout out to Shada right here, cause she made sure that I ordered the right shit. And I wanna shout out to my Brody them right here. These two, hey, they really looked out for me while I was there. I can't even lie, man. I love Detroit. I love the niggas in it. I love the women. I love everybody. Especially, especially y'all. Thank y'all for making sure I ordered the right thing. And stop playing, bitch. Fit check, fit check. So fresh, make your bitch sweat. Shout out to my supporter in the airport that gave me his own clothing brand. He probably ain't think I was gonna put it on. Boy, I appreciate your smile here. Appreciate you, my boy. I appreciate now, it. Now, if I ordered the wrong thing, I won't try to blame the supporter and blame the people inside for not correcting me on what I should get, okay? Yeah, y'all know no matter where I go, I gotta rip the hood. But the way a lot of people was talking about conies, they love conies, I was trying to bust it out the bag, bitch. Then it was smelling good as fuck, so I really tried to got them Hulk Hogan the bag open. Now, if you watching this video, tell me in the comments if I got the right thing. I got some chili cheese fries with the sliced cheese, okay? Not the squeeze or whatever you want to call it. I got the sliced cheese. And, and, and I got the hash brown top with the chicken, the bell peppers, the onions, and the bacon and some cheese. And I had Got the little chicken quesadilla thing with the with the bell peppers, the, the seven mile style or whatever the fuck y'all finna sleep. Uh, I got this right here, okay? I'ma lift the top so y'all can see what I got up in there. I don't motherfucking know what I was up in there. But I just want y'all um to put me on that menu. Make these three things that I order the roll it up case special. I'm trying to take, just do it for me, please. Now y'all, I know the movie called Eight Mile, but every time I thought about Mile and y'all kept saying going to six miles, seven mile, all these miles, I thought about that uh the Eminem movie. Right, I am a fucking bomb. I do live in a trailer with my mom. And then fuck my girl. I'm still here screaming fuck the free world. The and y'all, I know Eminem is water than some motherfucking school paper, but that's a black movie. If you black and you ain't never watched 8 Mile, then you're not black. Now let's go ahead on and get into this food. I know I'm taking too long, but this is what the fuck you signed up for when you watched me. Them fucking chili cheese fried good in a chili cheese hoe, and I know what a chili cheese hoe tastes like because I have a few of them, and you know how you have some. Never mind. Don't run up on that bitch. She a head case. How she do it? Shoot. Y'all never seen no bitch open the straw with they forehead. I'm gonna be real. Don't do that shit, though, because this shit hurt. Bro. That shit most definitely hurt. Now, make sure y'all get the Kool-Aid when y'all do go, okay? Get them the Kool-Aid, y'all. The mixture of the, uh, the blue raspberry and the, uh, the red one. Get them. That's, that's put that on the menu as the roll it up case special. Too. Now, y'all gotta be real. That loaded hash brown is some crazy, fat, funky, big back, extra weight ass shit. Big fat back ass shit right here. I don't even know this one. Big heavy back bitch shit. I need to know what big bonky elbow bitch. <laughs> Oh my, no, y'all, I ain't trying to be low down, but that is some real, that's some real greedy shit, like, you did put everything on, I just want it, that, that shit was good as hell, though, I'm not going, damn, that shit was good as fuck, and y'all been talking about some, conies ain't that good shit, to who? And out of all that shit, though, the best thing, that case of the fuck deal, you gotta have the sour cream, you dip that motherfucker in that sour cream, I swear to God, it'll make you go back in the restaurant and cream it, ooh, Oh, sometimes I talk too fast. That was going to be so, that, that was, I'm sorry. I had a lady walk up to me in the airport and said, baby, my children was up in their room watching your videos. I said, who in the hell is that up in there cussing like a sailor? I walk in and it was you on the screen. Now I'm a fan. Now we watch it together. I said, you know what? Thank y'all. But all bullshit aside, the damn case of deal was better than the case of hoes. I done had a case of hoes in my life before. That's how I be knowing. I wouldn't tell y'all that the shit gooder than some shit unless I done had the shit before to let you know which one is better. But nah, for real, all jokes aside, I need y'all to bear with me when it come down to these D Detroit reviews because I have 11 to edit. I have 11 fucking reviews to edit, so get 
me time, bitch. I sit up there and review three restaurants a day. Back touching my damn ankles, bitch. I I need to give me a minute. But I do appreciate y'all for welcoming me. With, 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 with. God damn, bitch. Damn, that was the hardest stutter of the week. I appreciate Detroit for showing out for me, popping out for me that night. Let me show y'all how it went. <laughs> Listen, I want y'all to understand, I'm from a hood where people don't really make it this far, don't really get this much love. We got to beg each other for love, beg each other for support. I appreciate every time I go to another city, y'all love me so fucking much. Y'all really came my side for me, like, look old me. I, mother I love y'all so much in Detroit, it don't make no sense. Thank y'all so much for everything. Now, I know y'all ready to go, but before y'all leave, please go follow me on Facebook. That's where I'm going to be posting all my food reviews first. Go follow me on Instagram because they're going to get a second. Go follow me on uh, TikTok because they're going to get a third. Go follow me on Twitter because they're going to get a fourth. Twitter is for the booty. I just why I, I always try to let y'all. All right, y'all. Uh, I just left what they were called. I just left Coney Island. Oh, damn. Well, I'm still leaving Coney Island, and I can't lie. There's some good ass hood to eat. I've been eating that every day, and it ain't that damn cheap. So you can't say there's no cheap ass bullshit. That, 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 that shit was good though. I ain't gonna hold you. I, I, I but we, uh, counted them. Before we even much get to into the rest of this uh, video, make sure y'all like, subscribe, and comment on it. We got a good ass uh, night ahead of us. Uh, where was Ohio down? Not the whole Ohio, actually. Akron slash Cleveland, Ohio down. Detroit and Cincinnati to go. Now we just checked into our hotel room, and y'all. This is so motherfucking nice. They said over there, that is Canada. That's like the bridge to Canada somewhere over there. I can tell because it's a Canadian flag down here. And look at look at this view. This is a nice ass view. I appreciate them for booking this very nice hotel room for a sister. I truly appreciate that. Uh, shout out to, uh, I'm gonna show y'all who been booking all this stuff for me, man. Shout out to them because they've been doing a good job, honestly. The only problem, the only hiccup we had was my flight, I was in the back of the plane, and I don't think that was their fault. They just did something, just you know how you just booking shit fast and not able to pick the seat. They wasn't able to pick my seat. Plus, it was like a really full flight. Flight they had to do, what they had to do at the last minute. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, we in Detroit with it though, man. We finna have us a good night tonight. Gonna be a real good night. I see some casinos out here. So tonight I gotta be in Detroit. Tomorrow I gotta be in Cincinnati, and yeah. Alright, y'all. Once again, we a mirror down. I got this on. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it is on with the balances. This whole outfit was different, y'all, but I ended up wearing it like this because it is what it is. Um, got shot in the cut. Got that too, baby. We making it right here just in time. Remember this club at 12? Now we just pulled up at the club and this motherfucker might just be packed. One eternity later. Right there, right there. Oh, 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 We had a good time last night. You had a good time last night, Ty? Mm -hmm. I had a good time last night. I could say since I've been in um, Ohio, Detroit, all this, y'all been giving me so much stuff, like, you feel me? And I want y'all to understand, y'all do know I be having to catch a flight with all this stuff, you feel me? But good thing I'm going to be in Detroit for a lot of more days, so I'm going to just ship this out. Um, yeah, somebody gave me these candles. 
um, on ketchup. This is her uh, link to all of her social media. She gave me some Chanel candles, some uh, Versace candles. I appreciate you, Dudu. Somebody gave me this bag real slick. Walking in there, motherfucker gave me this one. Hello, this shit might be nice. I might wear one of these motherfuckers today. Hold on. Yeah, because I'm Mr. Spin some. Spin on that motherfucker like a tornado. I like this though. All right, y'all. Yeah, go shot with Tarana Hart. Oh, nah, this one hard. This one hard with the cuts in the front. Watch how I put that on. Oh, I'm gonna put this bitch on. Make a bitch sweat. I got some Gucci on. I stay in my lane. I don't fuck with them. I don't know what you be on. Hot one, hot two. My blicky match my fit. I got on pink. So you know I brought them fit out of this bitch. I can't watch Jay's every week. Shawty gave me these for time. And I'm pretty sure she shipped. And on my mama, she snapped. These motherfuckers all about me. And that's what I like. Nailed by Tink Tay. Y'all see the name on there? Appreciate you, table boo. Oh yeah, somebody else gave me this sweater. And I like this sweater, cause it, it, it's, that's definitely what I'm about. I like what I like, and it is what it is. They cut down though. Boo! Somebody gave me some oil for my hair. Be that for hair? No, that's body butter. Hair shine, yeah, this is some hair shine for for my hair. My melanin is popping, my melanin is cool. All you boys be jocking, they chase me after school. Let me try to go ahead on and show y'all this thing right here. Somebody came up to me at the club and gave me a whole treasure chest and it's full of stuff. She explained everything that is for when she um met me. I wish I could redo it like her, but she had that shit down packed the way she said that shit. Like she was very professional. She gave me a bunch of stuff, like stuff to go in my gag -ag when I smoke. This stuff, bath sauce. Y'all know I love me some Ipsen. Um, Dr. Teal's hip stop. Uh, and then I got my own little code for her website. So make sure y'all go shop with her right now. So if you been sick and you don't know how to how to jo uh, how to knock it, maybe that's how. Go fuck with Shotty, you feel me? Go fuck with. But anyways, yeah, we finna get ready to get up, and I'm finna probably try to do a full review before I do, cause I gotta go to Cincinnati tonight. Let's get it. Let's go. We do this shit three times in a row. Now we had to come back to the airport because they end up calling Ty, telling her they found her bag. Now why they zip unzipped to the bit? Make sure everything all there, Charlotte. Make sure everything I'm not all there. Right now. Uh uh. Make sure them Dior's up in there. Hold on, I'll cry. I'm gonna get them Chanel. All I wanna make sure, man, I just got these go two pairs of Chanel's and when they one off regular price. Make sure my mom put a couple of thousand dollars slipping up. Hold on, nigga, why your jewelry fucking up? Okay. The box right there, the box right there. What box? My box. You bought the whole I didn't bring the box, I'm putting my jewelry box. Okay, hold on, y'all. We finna figure this out, Charlotte. Matter of fact, I got this. I don't know how I'm finna do it. She finally got her stuff back from the airport. I was real nervous because I thought they had stolen it. I ain't gonna hold it. You text your mom, I just test her. Yeah! Now I sent Ty to the mall yesterday with 1400 told her don't spend it. Hold on, why are you telling all my business? Sent my Ty to the mall with some money, told her don't spend it all. Just, you know what I'm saying? Get your outfit for the night because they probably had your bag the next day. Like I thought they had a bag and they mother spent all the money. She so she owed me that. No, I don't. Damn, yes, First of all, she literally said, if you spend all of it, I ain't gonna be mad. I, was I mad? No. All right then. <laughs> but I said, well, shit. Yeah. You, I said, go over there and get one outfit. You come out with. And then you go into the why you going more than one stove? I got some Lulu Melon. Okay, you owe me some money. It's the door to my Lulu Melon. You owe me Lulu Lulu some Lulu Melon. I had to get new makeup. Mm hmm. And, and you owe me some money. No, I don't. I owe you a lemon head though. Got it. Anyway, y'all, we finna go get us something to eat now. I don't know if we're going to lose daily or. Um, yeah, you sent me two addresses. One of them is lose daily and the other one is uh, some soul food. Which way you up? When it do y'all, it's Kay, and I'm back with another review. And a lot of y'all been waiting on this one because a lot of y'all been advising me to go here. Now, before we get into this review, I want all y'all to do me a favor. Follow and like my support page on Facebook and go and follow me on Instagram and comment when you're done. Now, I'm not going to be greedy and say go follow me on TikTok, but you can. I'm not going to be greedy and say go follow me on Twitter, but you should. Well, you ain't got to because I don't do nothing. I just watch Booty do Jiggle on there. That's all I do. Okay, so now let's get into it. Y'all know I've been in Detroit for like four or five days, and I've been racking up on full reviews. I mean, I've been reviewing like two and three spots a day. And one of the most requested restaurants was Lily Mae's Southern Buffet. I mean, I had so many comments. I said, you know what? Let me pull up and see what the hype is about. Because, you know, sometimes y'all be lying. Y'all like the overhype shit. But I knew when I walked in and I seen that picture of somebody grandma on the wall. Okay, y'all. We got us a hit right here. As soon as I see me a picture in black and white, I say, okay, we got us some real soul going on. Now, this restaurant, a real deal buffet, they got like a concept going on with it, though. Now, when you walk in, you're going to wait to be seated. And this is the seating area, y'all. It's real spacious up in this. 
bitch. You see how Lord be jumping? Because they got a lot of space just in case they get the jumping like some motherfucking ass in there. Now, after they seat you, you got to get your dumb ass right back up and then get in the buffet line. So I just feel like, why in the fuck would you seat me? Then tell me I can get the right the fuck back up and get in the back of this goddamn line. Now, one thing about it, I love walking into a restaurant that don't really need to do the teacher about little Blah, blah, blah. Bitch, I will give me a million dollars to do a whole food review and not stutter. But I like walking into a restaurant that don't really need me because basically they already got a line. They already got people that show love to them. So I said, you know what? If they already got a lot of love, my review matters, but it ain't going to make or break they, uh, they, they, they restaurant. Now, before I came in, I said, you know what? I'm just going to order two things off the menu and I'm going to sit my big back ass down. That's why my elbow's connected to my backbone now. But to be honest, y'all, I walked dead in that damn restaurant, smelled the aroma and said, you know what? I'm going to just be, I ain't going to do too much, just a little bit of something. I sit up there and walked my healthy ass up in there and got three meals. I got a goddamn turkey leg loaded with uh greens, macaroni, and some dressing. I got oxtails, grits, fried green tomatoes. That's greedy as fuck. And Ty had got some fried fish with some sides. And baby, I said three meals because what's hers is mine. I told that. But anyways, let's get into this food review. Macaroni, good as fuck. It wasn't dry. I really like the velocity of the macaroni. But the literal magnitude of the greens was so fucking perfect. It was so potent. It was so flavorful that it didn't even need hot sauce. Now, I will admit that that turkey leg was a little dry in a few places. You know, like I didn't with a couple dry bitches, so I ate it still, you know. Let's move on. And the dressing was very soulful. Now, I got to get this restaurant. They tense when it comes down to the actual soul food because restaurants up north just can't get it right. And this is like basically the first restaurant ever up north that got it right for me. Because, bitch, I tried some soul food in L.A. and I almost L.A. somebody ass down. That shit was so fucking nasty. And that cranberry sauce made it all hit even fucking harder. The fucking magnitude of the cranberry inside of the dressing is literally perfect. I feel like people that don't eat cranberry sauce on their dressing still. And I understand. I know I probably ain't got no correlation to y'all but bitch i said what i said i feel like if you don't put cranberry sauce on your goddamn dressing you're a thief you be thieving bitch now i honestly didn't expect them fried green tomatoes to taste as good as they did but oh my god them bitches was crunchy and seasoned to the tea like them was some of the best fried green tomatoes i ever i ever had in my life and i try fried green tomatoes everywhere i go now we was off to a good start until i tried them goddamn oxtail and them grits I don't, I don't like that oxtail or them goddamn grits. The oxtail ain't taste like nothing but ox. What the hell was that? Bitch, season that shit. I started to walk back. I said, them motherfuckers back there seasoning the oxtails with water? Them goddamn Make-A-Wish Foundation ass oxtails? I wish y'all had seasoned them bitches for a bit. And I didn't like the grits because they was too goddamn greasy. I could have rubbed them bitches down my scalp. And that shit would have lasted me three weeks. All that goddamn greasy, y'all could have shoe shined some shit. And y'all, the cornbread was not nasty, but it tastes like regular cornbread to me. And that's a problem. Y'all know I like my cornbread to be sweeter than me. Give me the gayest cornbread y'all got in the back. Now, before I had a forgot, because I basically did, here go my fit check, y'all. Fit check, fit check, so fresh, make your bitch sweat. Y'all don't know nothing about that Avery's Gill. This some real throwback shit right here. Who the fuck know anything about this? If you do, comment below and tell me. I ended up getting real full real fast, so I had took my dessert that I got and took it back to the hotel room with me. Y'all, they sell cheesecake banana pudding. Ooh, y'all. I just knew that shit was finna slap. But bitch, that shit made me want to go back in the restaurant and slap whoever in the fuck made it. I do not like no goddamn cheesecake in my banana pudding. It was overwhelming. It tastes like poop. Y'all know that cheesecake that be tasting too cheesy? That's what it tastes like and it was overdoing it for me. But that peach cobbler, that peach cobbler, can bitch, I fuck with the peach cobbler. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. The restaurant was valid to me. If I had to try it again, I definitely would. Because it was good to me. Like, it was good. I just like shit. And I don't like and shit. And please, don't nobody come in and say, well, I like the goddamn. I don't give a fuck what you like, bitch. You, you watching my review. I honestly been trying to be nice lately. But people been getting smart with me. And I just really don't like this. So, it's time to bring roast sessions back. I don't know who in the fuck limousine chin ass cousin is. But tell that bitch. Stay the fuck out of my comments. I know she fold a mean ass shirt. I seen a wall down there that said money long is six miles. So is this bitch chin. That is the strongest underbite I have ever motherfucking laid my eyes Bitch on. chin built like a shark fin. Good fuck you. Stay the fuck out. Now, I don't know what the fuck this telegram did, but he had to do something for his photo to be saved in my camera roll. Like, boy, if you don't get your face on licking ass on, I see why you covering up your fucking face with them fat, big body, big, big, bitch. bitch you done made me stutter with them fat ass glasses on, them binocular ass glasses. You got them big fat ass glasses on to see where you had me fucked up. You ain't been cute since you was a baby, bitch. Now, I'm not finna sit up here and lie on you. You ain't no ugly ass bitch with your eyes big, bug eyed bitch. I don't even remember what you said, but girl, fuck you. Big googly eye bitch. And uh, who in the fuck is this nigga bitch? Keep coming and tagging me and shit, trying to get a motherfucking response. If you don't get your skin and kneecap ass and on, take off that motherfucking skirt for your dick fly out of the fuck you thought. With them ashy ass elbows and that trash can ass nose. I know my motherfucking nose big, but this bitch nose gigantuous. Parachute ass nose. You probably smelt this goddamn roast bitch and coming. Fuck your graduation and damn braids. Bitch, you thought you was Rapunzel or something. And who in the fuck is this Lego block dressed ass nigga? Like, quit tagging me and shit. With them soft ass sideways ass forces look like you forced your feet up in them while they leaning like that. Why the fuck is they leaning like that? With that tired, lame ass 
face, you look like a fucking dork. You fucking ball. Who in the fuck wear forces without socks? Stanking ass. I don't know why the fuck this hoe came for me. You can't even see what the fuck she ran into. You don't get your goddamn cock out ass on, bitch. How many fingers am I holding up, bitch? That's why your eyes bungee jumping. Worry about your goddamn self, bitch. Don't say nothing else to me. Y'all know I had wore me some polo on Easter, you know what I'm saying? Some real light, slight shit. I ain't have to overdo it, bitch. It was just Easter. I'm a real street bitch. On Easter, we wear polo. I do like to be the freshest bitch in the living room, but I ain't gotta wear no goddamn designer head to toe. This microphone head ass hoe got the audacity to say she was flying to me with this goddamn newspaper ass shirt on. Bitch, if you don't get the fuck on with that your ass button down that weak ass built, soft ass bitch. And I keep trying to convince this bright stick head ass bitch she not flying to me. Look at you, bitch. You dress like a fucking sun kiss. I'll look at this fucking bitch. Not too long though, she might scare you. Ain't nobody got time for this goddamn stud on stud crime, but bitch, I'ma do you in. Monkey see monkey do you a monkey too, bitch. You ooh ooh ah ah mouth ass bitch. And who in the fuck sick skinny ass cousin this is? Bitch, your head shaped just like that car you standing in front of. I'm not finna argue with you or them mashed up ass ones in your motherfucking hand and them weak ass goals. Get your 1992 looking ass on with that goddamn Chevy Impala ass forehead. Get the fuck. And if you I forgot about your bitch, I did you're next. So y'all, I booked this party in Cincinnati basically when I got to Detroit. This this party basically um 100% got booked. Since I booked the party at the last minute, I only brought like two club fits and I had warm to Detroit and one to Akron. So now I'm headed to Cincinnati, y'all. I finally just left them all, got me some fly shit to wear. Don't know which fit I'm wearing, but got me some fly shit to wear. I'm gonna go to the room, get me a little fresh haircut. We'll get my hair done, but there's too many people that want to do my hair. And I don't want nobody to feel no type of way. I'm just gonna go and go to my main hairstylist because she ain't even no wrong yet. And yeah, that's how we doing it. But now I done had a good ass, I done had a good experience. Though these last couple of days just been showing me how much love I got when it come down to my supporters, you feel me? Um, I always knew I had a lot of supporters, but I think uh, your, your, your thing, the thing, your phone keep blinding me. Oh shit. I'm trying to like It's the what? front of it, the front keep doing it. Um, damn, that shit just gave me a little, you know how you put that little light in your eye. But um, I never knew I had this much support and this much love. But I want to make it a thing that whenever I come to your city to review some food, I want a party promoter to book me at their club so that I can actually turn up. And that can be my meet and greet. Like at Detroit, when I had ended up sending my section and I was chilling, I felt like I ain't want to just sit there and chill. I wanted to give everybody a chance to come up and get their pictures. Of course, y'all, when I'm in the club, I be smoking and I be on cloud nine, okay? So if you see me and I look a little irritated or something, I'm not. I'm just dazed and excited about life i'm very happy you know what i'm saying i love my life though y'all and i can't wait to have more bookings i got one in dallas after this we're not having a break this month honestly even if we got a break from doing bookings we're still doing full reviews even if we're not doing full reviews man ty got a lot of content a lot of vlogs coming up so y'all stay tuned it's gonna be a movie okay so y'all we just made it to cincinnati ohio and when i stopped in i had got me a quick little haircut because you know what i'm saying i've been sweating my haircut out put on another one of these shirts for my dog because Hey, I appreciate you for giving me your brand in the club, you know what I'm saying? I never tell nobody no, you be in the club and you want to bring me some. Now, we should get ready to go to the club. And this is going to be my last party of this three-day run. Three days party and literally back to back to back. I wasn't drinking last night because I just feel like I don't want to overdo it. Plus, honestly, y'all, I ain't trying to get too big. I'm trying to lose a little weight, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't, I ain't saying I'm big, but... I'm trying to slim it up, turn this to a little muscle, you know what I'm saying? I can't get too big because it's going to be too much to turn into muscle. Now, before we get into this, make sure y'all like, subscribe, and comment. And go to Facebook right now, tag me and your best party promoter in the post and say, we want to party with K. My baby got this shit on. I hope can't fuck with you, you know that? When I tell you that, can't. Let, me see, let, me, let me see them Chanel. Yeah, no. big Chanel. No. Stop playing. Anything for that baby. Yeah. Come on, hold on. This shit about you. This shit, this shit really ain't about me. This about you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Got your back. Shit coming up, a lot of shit playing, and I gotta work real hard for my future. 
and what's in my future. You feel me? I probably got a little, little young nigga pending. So we gotta really, I'm just really working hard. And this is shaking. the end. This is the end of a three day spree shaking. You shake, it's is it the car? Yeah, yeah it's the car. Well, this is the end of a three day spree. I've been on a three day clocked in booking spree and I've had fun and y'all see this, honestly. And I wanna say, um, now I feel like whenever I come to somebody's city and I'm ready to review their food that weekend, I always want to turn up and make the club my meet and greet for my supporters. You feel me? Like, y'all be so happy to see me and I be so happy to see y'all. And I feel like I can't not do this every time I come to somebody's city. I gotta do like, I gotta do something for y'all every time I come. And y'all show y'all ass. Like, I appreciate y'all for showing out for me, especially Detroit. Y'all showed the fuck out for me. And all, uh, like, every city honestly showed out for me and I appreciate that, man. I never forget this. This has been my best tour. I've been on a three-day tour, and this has been the best three-day tour that I've ever been on in my life, and I appreciate y'all for supporting me, rocking with me, pulling up for me, rapping a line around a club for me, just to see the girl that do the full review. And then I perform a song, and y'all know that bitch word for word. Y'all don't know what that shit to me. My mom, y'all can't know, because if y'all knew, then y'all understand, I be going to bust out crying on the stage. Aww. But I can't, because I'm a motherfucking thug. What it do y'all, it's Kay and I'm back with another review, but this one's gonna be a little different. I just want y'all to listen to and like understand the vibe that I give my support. To all creators out there, you never know what you do. Like you never know how you make people feel. You never know what your content do to people. And to be honest, I'm one of them people that really don't be knowing, but now I'm starting to understand. People really use me as a form of therapy. People use me to get through hard times and I gotta understand it. Like I'm really starting to understand, so I gotta stay consistent. This is one of my supporters from Cincinnati, Ohio, and she is the breast cancer battler. Right oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God. I appreciate it. You, baby. Okay, my biz. I'm so happy right Hello. now. You just don't even know. Look, I understand. you the same age as my daughter. Okay, I love you so much. I love you too, bro. You make me laugh. Uh, you are so fucking funny uh, and everything. I just love you. Love and you, you have been. Oh my God, Cody Summer. Cody Summer. Cody Summer. No, Cody Summer. Please, call December. This is my daughter. I need for her to see that I. Look, that, okay, that's chicken Alfredo. I made you, um. I made you banana bread. I know. I know. Yes. And that's a regular one. Real bananas. Yeah, I know. I deal with both of them. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with you. Wait a minute. I ain't done. Look, this is strawberry one. Right there. Yeah, in the bag. You got, um, I make, look, I'm a breast cancer. Survive. I'm for breast cancer it's fighter, okay? So my business is wrapped around that. I like that. So you got a pen. Oh my God, I can't fucking believe this shit, bro. It's all right, baby, I promise. Oh my God, I love you so much. I love you too. You don't know, uh, you know, you know, cause you are so loved. Bro, you so fucking funny and oh, just, <laughs> bro, everything, you already know all the shit, so I don't even want to say it. I appreciate you. You know what I mean? So, you got a pen, you got a keychain that I make. My business is centered around breast cancer awareness because I'm a stage first fighter. Thank you. And I just wanted to, and it's so crazy because I had end up inboxing you, um, no, excuse me, doing a uh, book roll up, K. I emailed you, I emailed you, um, the shit I didn't know she was gonna be here, oh my god, like, you feel me, and it's just so crazy. Did you hit December? And I'm just... I'm just saying, so baby, no, thank you, bro. And just please, man, do her love that shit. But please let me know. I've been cooking for damn near 30 years. I'm 42 years old, okay? My oldest daughter is 24. You feel me? Same age as you, too. So I've been cooking But even before that, you feel me? I was babysitting and all that. You feel me? So I've been cooking for a long ass time. So I just Come on. When I tell y'all I love to see an Oreo mixed friendship, that white lady supported her goddamn black friend so goddamn well. 
I tell you the truth that she's black now. Just now Ohio, I will be back. I'm so sorry that y'all didn't wasn't able to get me all of y'all stuff that y'all left in the front. I'm so mad that somebody stole the stuff that, that was left for me, the food that was left for me, the gifts that was left for me. I'm really upset about that, but it's okay. I feel like we don't know who fault it was, so I don't want to blame anybody. Just know that I'm glad that I got to turn up with y'all, show y'all a lot of love because I, that shit meant everything to me. How y'all treat me mean everything to me. That's why I treat y'all so good. Now, basically, the only reason she got her food to me is because she left her food outside in her car instead of bringing it inside the club because it was just easier to get it to me. I guess I'm just, just by the grace of God, she got her food to me. And just like I told her, I went straight to my hotel room, put it on the real plate, put it in the microwave, and I warmed it up. She had it in the container. That's why it stuck its shape, but I still put it inside of it just like that. Ended up breaking it down. You know what I'm saying? I was waiting on it because I was anticipating y'all. Fit check. Fit check, so fresh, make your bitch sweat. I honestly don't even give a damn about my outfit at all. I was just so anticipated, ready to try her food. I'm like, man, this lady really love me. Now, after I had snuck a bite out of the microwave, I already knew what I was in for, baby. And I told Ty, baby, we're going to eat this together, okay? Because she didn't give us two plates. Now, I'm not saying I doubted her food, but sometimes people be doing a lot and food still be nasty. I'm just be real. For Sometimes people will go hard. Food still be tasting like the back of fire ass. But, bitch, on my mama, on my hood, on Simba, bottom Simba, on the bottom of your paws, bitch. That shit was good as f One thing about me, I ain't never been the type to over-exaggerate because I know y'all gonna go try it for yourself. So I got to tell the truth. If I lie, then that'll be f***ed up. That f fucking Alfredo was so cheesy, but these are weezy bitch. It was good as f It was delicious, bitch. Now, you told me to let you know how I felt about everything. What the fuck I'm gonna do now? They, 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 uh, the banana pudding was not bad at all. It wasn't no like no shit that I slam in the trash can at all. I just say it was a bit grainy. As y'all can see, y'all kind of see what I'm saying. Like, But a lot of people like they... um. They banana pudding like that. I just simply don't. I like mine to be real pudding like. You know what I'm saying? But overall, you did a great job. And y'all know usually at the end of all my videos, I tell y'all to go like some like some bitch. What well, God damn. Damn, I can't do one full full review that my stutter. Anyways, I usually tell y'all to go support my videos, go support my uh all of my platforms. But this time, let's focus on Miss Rock, y'all. Go follow her on, on Facebook and show her some love, please. Even if y'all don't follow her, just DM her some words of encouragement to keep going. Okay, so y'all, we on the road back from Cincinnati, Ohio. That was the last day of our three-day tour. Basically, we was on a three-day tour. Now, I'm on the way back to Detroit, and it's time to clock in to my real, real job. You know what I'm saying? I think uh, these tours and shit, these little, these little parties and these hostings, it just give me a, a chance to showcase my music, because y'all, I've been performing and everything. And it's been like a fun ass thing. It made me want to really take my music way more seriously. You feel me? So make sure, at the end of this vlog, since we about to end this vlog, get off this vlog. Go to my, um, go to your Apple Music and your Spotify and add me to your Apple and your Spotify Music playlist, okay? Like, and then screenshot it and then show me on Instagram and I'm gonna put it on my story because that's what we doing from, from now on, we gotta build K Music. We gotta build my platform. I'm finna drop another song. Matter of fact, next song I'm gonna drop is De Leon because I know that this song y'all really want. I'm finna drop De Leon. I'm gonna drop, yeah, I'm finna drop all that shit, okay? At the end of the month, I'm finna be shooting all my videos, so make sure y'all like, subscribe, come in. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. We almost in. We basically in Detroit right now. We gonna check into my telly and get the day started. Yeah, so these niggas fake they some ass. I'm sexy talk when I dance with the Glock like a pass. I step on his ass like some glass. These niggas know I been doing this shit on crib. I swear to God it ain't new. Told the bitch after I hit this bitch you gotta do. One other bitch out of the